Hey, welcome back to the Disney Plus Liberty Challenge, and today we have Miracle. Not Miracle in Lane 2, or Full Court Miracle, or Half Court Miracle, whatever it was. Um, this is just Miracle. This is the 2004 um, hockey movie. It runs about 2 hours and 17 minutes long. It is, uh, the, it tells the story of the Miracle on Ice. Miracle on Ice. For those of you don't, do, who do not know what that is, that is the moment that the U.S. beat the Soviet Union in hockey. And that may not mean a big deal now, these days, but uh, back in 1980, yeah, it's a big thing. Because as the credits uh, roll up to the, the story, uh, it gives us an interesting insight into... Uh, the buildup of the Cold War over the previous 10, 15 years or so leading up to this Olympic uh, battle to the death. No, there's no death, but the, it's a humongous battle. It's a, it's a symbolic uh, um, battle. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I realize I maybe <laughs> uh, have spoiled something, but I really haven't because... Uh, you don't call it miracle if the guys you're rooting for, the main characters, don't actually win. So it's a part of history. This is based on a true story, so no spoilers there. It's the Americans win. Just saying. But how they get there and why they got there and the fact that they shouldn't even have even had a chance against these guys. Russia, the Russian team... Some of these guys have been playing together for 15 years prior to the Olympics. They, they're they massive, intimidating. You know, it's it's that whole Rocky 3, Rocky 4 thing, Rocky 4 thing, where the Russians are, you know, let him die. You know, it's that whole thing where they're all considered cold, heartless monstrosities. And this one doesn't make it as, as harsh. But it's got the elements of it. Everybody sees the Russians as cold, heartless monsters that excel at sports and will crush anybody who crosses them. And, and there's no doubt that the Rocky Four film was probably kind of inspired by this whole hockey thing, even though it's two different sports. It's still very much in that whole... Cold War era thing of the 80s that we have. What, you, what we end up with is a team full of basically college hockey players uh, who are sort of brought together from all around the country um, and p handpicked by Herb Brooks. Herb Brooks, um, he's had his a long history in hockey uh, himself uh, before being coach. But uh, in this situation, uh, when they're coming up, when they're deciding, hey, let's uh, put together a, a team to, to go to the Olympics, uh, they give him sort of carte blanche uh, to do it. They don't like the fact that they have given him so much power to choose the team that he's uh, assembled. But uh, they, meaning the people who are in control of that kind of thing. But uh, he... He picks the best. And uh, there's a lot of guys that have honestly tried out for this, and they're amazing. They're, they're astounding hockey players. Uh, some of them don't make the cut, even the really good ones. And uh, Herb uh, rankles a lot of, of the higher-ups, and he punishes horrendously his players uh, for just not giving a crap half the time. There's a point where they're uh, in preparation to go to the Olympics and they're they're actually, they go to Norway just for a sort of an exhibition kind of game. And half the time the guys are just checking out the hot girls across the way, oh, seventh row. And, and he realizes, he recognizes, he sees this. And uh, there's, a, there's an iconic moment in the film where he just lays into them hard by making them do drills over and over and over again, even after they've shut the lights off in that place. Again! Again! And these guys are 
dying as as a result. And even his own uh, the doc the doc and some, his assistant coach and everybody else they're all just like, dude, this is really harsh. Um, he's hard as nails. He he drove him hard, and there's a. Uh, he does get to he gets results though. It's the idea that he uh, he puts himself up as the bad guy in many cases to make this team work together, and that's kind of one of the the charming things about it. Herb Powell, but uh, Herb Powell, Herb Powell, Herb Powell, Herb Brooks, by the way, is played by Kurt Russell, a uh, longtime Disney uh, actor. He's done you know computer war tennis shoes and all sorts of stuff like that. He's been around with Disney for decades, and. Uh, yeah, so uh, he's the perfect choice to play this guy, and uh, you get to see him in 70s-era clothing again. So that's neat. Late 70s, early 80s. Um, they, uh, You get to see uh, how this evolves and how this builds up. Just like I said at the beginning, uh, as they do the opening credits, you see the evolution of American-Soviet relations and also uh, just the evolution of America itself and how... They deal with uh, issues inside and outside, Vietnam, uh, uh, Watergate, things like that. And uh, it, it shows a reflection on how Americans felt at that time. Uh, we were very divided. We were not in a good place. It was uh, We had lost faith in our leaders. It seems really familiar to me. Um, but uh, suddenly in 1980, everybody loved hockey. Whether they knew what hockey was or not, uh, they loved hockey because suddenly the Americans were moving up the ranks in the Olympics and uh, winning against teams they shouldn't have beaten. They shouldn't even gotten close to Russia. Yes, they were going to play Russia no matter what, but you know they they, they beat the third place team, the second place team. They they they, they tied another team. It, it's there's a lot of tension here, and and I mean that's the beauty of this. This is not a documentary. Uh, maybe not everything is exactly one-to-one -one a true depiction of how things happened. Um, some things probably left out, some things embellished, but the drama of this is so well done. I'm not a big sports fanatic. I don't know if you could tell. Um, but he, <laughs> uh, I played hockey when I was a kid, a little kid, and I was around when this happened. And I, I want to say that I remember uh, watching this on TV, I, I, I don't recall. Um, I should have been old enough to remember, but, you know, whatever. What is that noise? There's a, a noise happening around me. Anyway, um, so, yeah, there's... Uh, I want to I be able to say that I was in on the zeitgeist for uh, hockey, you know, for the miracle on ice. Uh, and I do remember people talking about it, but I, I don't know if I remember watching it as it happened. Um it's uh, it's still a thrilling story. The last, uh, I mean, you get all the hallmarks of a sto uh, sports movie. Uh, I mean, this got an award for, uh, for it got an SB for best uh, sports movie that year, and also an, an award from the AARP for best intergenerational film. So good for them. Um, but yeah, it's I mean, this is if you love sports, especially hockey. Uh, this is this will make a grown man cry just just to watch the last thirty minutes. Uh, of course, you want to watch everything before that to build up to get an idea, the frame of mind, and how everything works together, and how these characters got to where they were mentally and physically. Yeah, there's injuries. Yeah, there's uh, cuts that uh, they just do not want to make, and uh, and there's conflicts and there's just absolute fear. These terrifying monster Russian dudes um, with their crazy eyebrows like the coach for the other team has the wild fuzzy eyebrows like I don't know if it was he really looked like that in real life or they just threw that you know in there for whatever reason you know I don't know Brezhnev kind of feel to it uh, <laughs> but I can't recommend this movie enough because it's just it's intense it's uh, got all the hallmarks it's got two montages not just one two montages in like the first hour yeah, that's that's pretty much uh, how this goes. Um, in the in the final battle, the uh, the the miracle on ice, uh, and it gets that name because um, the announcer I can't ugh, I can't remember his name offhand right now, but the announcer goes, "Do you believe in miracles?" And that's where this movie got its name. 
it was the miracle on ice, and uh, they shouldn't have won. Uh, they shouldn't have had a chance, but uh, uh, Herb Brooks and his team <laughs> brought these guys together in a way that uh, me telling you about it doesn't fully, of course, <laughs> bring this to fruition. You know, bring doesn't fully explain it. You have to see it, and uh, like if even if you're not a sports fan. You can really appreciate how this thing is cut together and the, the tension that builds in the final half hour, which comprises the two and a half hour game that they actually played. Um, and they try to keep, I think they try to keep it as realistic as possible. There's no like last second goal, you know, at the very end, because uh, that's not how it works. Um, but uh, yeah, e even these guys, uh, <laughs> I think they were a little bit, little bit surprised. And, and he, and like I said, with the whole world, uh, well, America itself, fighting this Cold War menace with the Russians who are now in Afghanistan and uh, political tensions are at an all-time high and us not really happy with ourselves as a nation, uh, to, the hockey somehow brought us all together. Yeah, that's, that's the crazy part of it, hockey. So, uh, you get a neat little thing at the very end. Uh, you want to watch through, through the credits. Uh, you get to see where each of these guys end up, ended up. Uh, a lot of them went into, like, assets trading and financial stuff. But, okay. Um, but you also get to see um, what happened with uh, Herb Brooks. And, uh, yeah, this is definitely dedicated to him. So, uh, it's... It's yes, it's a it's a Hollywood version of this story. So if you know more about this, I'm sure there's documentaries out the wazoo that talk about what all went into this, and they were probably consulted in that too. But um, it's a Hollywood version, and it's it's still it's it's well done. So I, I said, give it a shot, give it a slap shot. Oh, there's so much Minnesota accents in this, so much <laughs> Kurt Russell fights with his Minnesota accent through the entire film. Um, yeah, there's so much else I want to say about this, but I completely have blanked on it. I really need to take notes. Anyway, Miracle. Uh, it's on Disney+. Plus. Let's pick tomorrow's episode. 548. 548. Let's see what we got. <laughs> okay. I have not seen this. Uh, I, I, I imagine this is on. It's not one of those weird things where they just sort of take it off. Because this is intrinsically Disney. It's not like they, oh, they bought a property or anything else, like Star Wars or Marvel or whatever. This is old school Disney. And, uh, I think it's time to watch the country bears country bears let's have a jamboree on the disney plus everyday challenge country bears we'll see you back here tomorrow bye